Hi Greedy 3 dears. welcome to today's episode. It's pretty cold in the man cave today, uh, not because it's only 10 degrees here in the UK, but because the Iceman is in the house. Um, Wicked Designs have done it again, an absolutely fantastic creation by them, and I'll show you how I painted him all up today. Now if you like what you see today, please, please leave me a comment, like the video if you want to subscribe to the channel that really would be appreciated we've also got a patreon if you want to have a little look at that and you'd be more than welcome to join but importantly for me just hope you enjoy the process of making of the old Iceman here stay tuned Now to make Iceman look cool, just see what I did there, I'm going to be using this translucent blue resin from Sunlu. This is my go-to resin that I've been using for the last few months and it's given me some great results. So here it is in the bottle and here it is out of the bottle into my Uniformation GK2 all ready for printing. And around about eight hours later I lift the magic lid and there is old Bobby the Iceman printed well the first sections printed anyway and the uniformation gk2 has done a marvelous job with this resin well it does a marvelous job with everything check my review for this printer it is lovely and i'm going to get them off the build plate now now they came off the build plate relatively easily as they always do with a little bit of encouragement via the medium of a spatula scraper thing and once they were off listen to that therapeutic support sounds coming uh, we're going to get them off and we're going to pop them into some IPA now this is clean IPA I try to get my IPA really clean when I'm doing translucent uh, materials because otherwise uh, you can put them off color a little bit and you don't want other bits of colors of uh, of your resin sticking to them now once that's all done and cured I'm taking some black and I've masked him off so I can get at his pants and his belt and I'm just going to give him a coat of some black primer all over his belt and his um, and his pants there just to give a little bit of contrast to the color of the uh, of the ice look that we've got and once that's tried I've masked off his pants and I've gone for some demonic yellow all from army painter of course I love the army painter and I'm going to paint his belt nice and yellow to give that a real contrast and against the blue from the resin and the black from his pants he's going to look absolutely lovely is old Bobby the ice man and the reveal let's take some of that masking tape off now don't panic too much if you've got some of the yellow on your black because you can uh, over paint that easy and if you do happen to get some on there just gently scrape it off I was really lucky really not nothing has gone over the top of anything I didn't want it to so I'm really chuffed with how that is looking let's have a little look at him from top to bottom I've glued his legs on uh, which you'll come to in a bit but there he is he's uh, ready for the next stage which is the detail work and I'm going to do some more work on the ice effects on him him. but what I've also done with his boots I've just painted those black as well exactly the same and then I've glued them onto the top part of his legs and that's the big chunk of Iceman big chunk ice no? okay done time for a little bit of brush work and I'm just taking some nice bright red and I'm going to paint the side of his buckle there to keep it in keeping with the X-Men colours and the colours that I did the Beast a little earlier on in the series and I'm taking some of the demonic yellow that I used with the uh, spray with my air gun and I'm just going to tidy up some of the edges of that all the way around his belt with that and time for the last bit which is just to paint the outer edge of the buckle and of course we're going to be painting the X in the middle and that's the brushwork bit of uh, old Iceman here done it wasn't too taxing that bit was it there's still a fair bit more to do but that's the colourful bits done and dusted I've printed the ramp for the base on the Uniformation GK2 using exactly the same resin and this printer is just fantastic. Look at the quality of that, amazing. Now, once it was all glued together, I've used this AK Terrain Snow Diorama. It's like um, shaving foam, but a little bit thicker and it stays a little bit longer. And I'm going to use it to seal the gaps in the actual ramp. There was quite a few parts to this ramp and I'm printed it 100% as you can imagine uh, it's quite a big piece and I don't want you to see the gaps 
It's very difficult to seal gaps on clear pieces, so I'm going to disguise it using this snow effect. So I've covered the majority of the gaps with it, and then I'm just going to work the paste around it to try and even it out. And this is snow, so it will look like an icy snowy layer across the top, and it will stop you seeing any of the joints that are in there. So I've put it on with a sponge, and I've used a smaller brush to just dab it around and meld it in and mix it in so that you don't see anything. And I'm really pleased with how it's looking so far. It's looking like snow, it's looking like ice. A little bit more work to do to it, but we're definitely on the way. And there we go. So everything is on at this stage and I'm going to leave it to dry. Now I'm going to leave it for a good 24 hours to dry uh, to make sure that the uh, there's no runs in it. There's, I don't get my fingerprints all over it when I start to move it around. And once it's dry, I'm taking just some white primer from the Army Painter. And I'm just gonna go over some of the edges with it. In fact, I'm gonna go over most of it. I just wanna put a real misting of white across the blue. Again, just to give it that icy look. I don't wanna make it white. I just wanna mist the blue with the white, just to give it that look, as you can see there. And I'm gonna do exactly the same to the Iceman. I don't wanna do too much. I don't want to overdo it. I just want to give him a splattering of dusting of the white across the blue areas and across his, uh, his shorts there and his shoes. I'm going to do a little bit more work on it but I just want to get a layer across there. Same again on his head, again, not too much. Don't turn him white, just give him a rough coat. And using some of this Green Stuff World Liquid Frost, this stuff is incredible. You literally just splodge it on, get it on there nice and thick, um, and then leave it. Uh, th there's no magic with this stuff, apart from the fact there's no hard work with it. You just put it on, you splatter it around a little bit, get plenty of it on. That's what I found from my brief experience of using it and then leave it and let it set and it turns into what can only be described as icicles. It's, it's really amazing stuff. Now, sometimes if you put it on flat surfaces, it will pull into the center and you'll lose a bit of the edge of it. So you might need to go over it with a couple of uh, coats, but put it on and just leave it. And I'm gonna do the same on his face, as you can see there. Put it on, splodge it around and then leave it. Once I've done the Iceman, I'm going to do exactly the same to the base. I'm going to get it on there. I'm just going to let this drip and gather in certain places. So I'm going to give it some little puddles. I'm going to go down the edges. I'm going to give it a general coat all over. Then I'm going to put it to one side and I'm just going to leave that base to stew and fester overnight to get that ice and, and let that green stuff world liquid frost do its magic. Now I've decided not to make the full base that Wicked have wonderfully designed. I'm going to go into Tinkercad, which if you've never used it, is a free program. Just do a Google search for Tinkercad and uh, you can make some basic shapes with it. And that's exactly what I've done. And I've printed that off in exactly the same resin, which I'm then going to attach for the base. Now I have used a little bit of super glue and activator, but to give it some more reinforcement, as I don't think that will be quite strong enough, I'm using some of this UV resin, just some clear UV resin that I'm gonna put into the gap. Just give it a second to just fall into the gap itself, and then take a UV torch and seal it. This stuff is great for joining two pieces of your model together, instead of, or in place of, or as well as glue. Now, taking some Ionic Blue from the Air Painter Mega Set, I'm just going to give that a real light cover across, not all over, but just on some of the highlighted areas, just to add that other sort of je ne sais quoi to the base, really, just to give it another little thing for the eye to look at. And I'm going to give it a real light coat. Don't turn it blue, just give it a light coat on the edges and again around the Iceman. 
Now going back to that UV resin, I want to give his hands a little bit of an icy effect. So it's a case of placing that UV resin on, let it drip and catch it just at the right time with the UV light to get your drip. It takes a little bit of practice, but this stuff is fabulous for ice, it's fabulous for draw, and as you can see there, it's doing the job I want it to do to make it look like there's some ice coming out of his hands. And there we go, that's what it looks like. Again, really pleased with this stuff and how it's working. Now we've nearly finished the model today, so I hope you've enjoyed it. If you want to buy anything from the item description, you can get hold of things in there. Anything I use, I will put in the description and you can buy it from there and a little bit will kick back to the channel. Well, hope you've enjoyed that. Hope you've learned something. We've used some new products today. There was times of this build when I really hadn't got an idea of how I'm going to go forward. And that's the great thing with this with this uh, hobby that we've got is sometimes you make it up on the fly and sometimes you do the best you can with what you've got and it comes out fantastic and you learn and you move forward. There were some things I tried that didn't work and I moved past those. Something I did do, which is something you may want to consider, I did a test piece and with this test piece, I tried all these techniques out on it first. Some worked, some didn't. And the ones I liked, I transferred across to the Iceman. So I hope you have enjoyed it. Please like, please subscribe, think about joining the Patreon, and I'll see you next time on Greedy3D.